Mike here from Panther Hollow Sporting Optics. I hope this video finds you well. Today, I see it. Dustin's a guest. We've got Zach with us. And we're having a little fun just uh, doing some testing on some rifles that we shoot a lot. Dustin, what are you shooting today, buddy? Well, I'm gonna, I brought over that uh, 6 GT that's uh, barreled by uh, Straight Jacket Armory uh, and my suppressor. I just wanted to see what it'll shoot like with my suppressor. Um, see the point of impact shift and whatnot. I uh, think it'd be pretty cool to see what it does. Heck yeah, man. What are you doing today, Zach? I'll be shooting blood sport. If you don't know what that is, check out the previous video. Oh, heck yeah, yeah. I'm going to be shooting um, my NRL Hunter Light Series gun. I want to be shooting some factory ammo and some hand loads with some fresh brass and some several time fired brass. And we're going to see what that looks like on paper at 100 yards. And hopefully, if Dustin lets me borrow his uh, suppressor, I want to see what this shoots like, uh, my NRL gun with a suppressor on it, since it is supposed to be a hunting rifle, okay? Well, let's get out there and uh, see what happens. Stand by. All right, guys, we're here with Dustin. Uh, we're going to be shooting his uh, 6GT with a suppressor on it. He's just going to shoot a few little groups down there. We're just doing a little testing today. We thought we'd bring you along with us. This is a defiance action. And, and the barrel was put on by Street Jacket Armory. So I'm gonna let Dustin take over here and we're gonna shoot it and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, I just recently got this suppressor. It's the Nomad L. Um, I put the e-brake on the end of it, so we're gonna see how it shoots as far as grouping goes. Oh man, that's bullseye. Yeah, man. All right, guys, we're here with my NRL Hunter Light series gun. This is a 6.5 Creed War. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot some match factory ammo. This is 147 grain. And I'm going to do a cold bore shot and two rounds. So I'm going to shoot it. The, there's a paper down there that's a right paper. It's got a dot all by itself. And I'm going to do a cold bore shot and then two follow ups. And I'm going to aim at that same dot each time with different ammos. We're going to do this factory ammo. Then we're gonna do once loaded brass, so fresh brass with a new load on it. And then we're gonna do several times fired brass with the same load. And we're gonna see how they do here. So each time I shoot this rifle, it'll be cold bore. So let's see what happens here. I just loaded three rounds and we'll go from there. Stand by. All right guys, today I'm gonna to be shooting my 6.5 Creedmoor Blood Sport. Just doing some testing with some different primer powder combinations I've been playing with. Um, they'll be the same exact load, same bullet, same seating depth, everything, just two different types of primers. So I'm gonna shoot a couple groups with each and then do some chronograph data afterwards. All right guys, now we're gonna do some brand new brass um, with the load I've been working with. So I just wanna see the difference between brand new bat brass and several times fired brass. I say several times, it's got at least six rounds on this other brass I'm getting ready to show you in this next set. So the barrel is back to cold again. Um, it's back to ambient temperature. Uh, we're gonna run it again and see what's going on and go from there, stand by. All right, so we've seen some improvement there. Um, that's why I shoot hand loads. Um, you guys shoot factory ammo, that's great, but you can always make handles a little better. Now, these are 140s, and I was shooting 147. I was just curious on the difference. So next up, the group should even get better. Um, so we're going to let this rifle cool off. Zach's going to take it back over. Stand by. All right, now we're going to do the same exact ammo, same group of five. Just see how that does after the cold bore shift and after it's been cleaned and fired. All right, guys, we are back. Um, we got a cool back down. Now I'm gonna shoot some loads here. Um, these loads have been loaded, loaded, and reloaded, and I probably think they're on their fifth or sixth firing. I'm not positive on that. I'm gonna shoot three of these at the same sticker down there and see how these do. And you should be able to see all the cold war shifts if there's any going on down there. Go from there, stand by. shot in different places 
Um, but you notice the new brass and the old brass shot a little differently. Um, I'm gonna shoot a few more here. Let's do three more. And uh, see what happens there. You guys, this is not take after take after take. We're trying to actually see what this combo does with uh, this different styles of brass put through it with counting factory ammo. In our, in our NRL Hunter, if you don't know, if you shoot factory ammo, you don't have to meet a power factor. Shoot standard 6.5 ammo, you don't have to worry about the power factor. So that's why I was wanting to test that. All I could find was 147, so that's why we tested 147. So let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, that's looking real good. That's looking real good. All right guys, a quick rundown. If you haven't watched my previous video, the Night Force NX8 Scope, uh, gray bow stock. Um, we've got a uh, X caliber barrel on here from Crown Ridge. We're running a Crown Ridge brake and just a Remington action with PTG bolt, okay? All right, somebody else's turn, stand by. All right, guys, since this is a Hunter build, we're gonna put a suppressor on it. We got Dustin's suppressor. It's a Nomad Hunter L. So I'm gonna shoot at the dot I just shot at with the uh, 6GT, and we'll see how much, um, if it moves the point of impact around. Let's just do it that way. As we've seen what it did with those three other loads. This is the standard hand load that I use all the time for this guy and uh, we'll see what it shoots like, stand by. <laughs> Holy crap, guys. Um, that's one hole down there um, with the hand load. So it, that load, this barrel likes to be suppressed. <laughs> That's a huge difference. Uh, that's the best this gun has shot with these loads. Um, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. It, suppression, this gun likes to be suppressed. I can't wait to get my suppressor. <laughs> so we're gonna go down range and look at that. Stand by. All right guys, there you go. Um, I'm down here looking at it. I've shot one group that way. I got on camera the last video. I thought it was a little better than that, but that, that's still pretty dang good. Let's see here. That's three shot quarter inch group right there. You've seen it happen on camera. That was cold bore with a suppressor. All three rounds went in the same spot. There was no shift. Um, that's what you look for. That's exactly what you look for. 6.5 Creedmoor NRL Hunter Light Build with a suppressor, Nomad L. Stand by. All right, guys, we're back at the shop here. That was a blast. Uh, I learned something. I learned about the that the suppressor uh, uh, shot really well. The impact shift was uh, a little bit low, but it wasn't bad. What'd you figure out, Dustin? Ah, uh, you know, uh, it's pretty well shot really well. Um, I think it tightens up. To, it could tighten up a group a little bit um, if you're pretty well close on your nose there. Um, but I, I like it. Uh, it really quietens down both. Both rounds uh, quite a bit. What did you think about? It? What did you learn? I just thought it sounded cool. <laughs> <laughs> did you learn anything about your rifle? Um, I shot, you know, uh, after I freshly cleaned my bore and my chamber. Um, makes the brass a little slippery. Had a yeah. couple, couple of troubles to pull the brass out, but <laughs> doesn't really affect your group that much. Uh, your cold bore shift's definitely going to be much more effective. Sweet. Well, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. I hope you learned something along with us. Uh, he was testing some different primers. Uh, large rifle primers are hard to find right now, and uh, 
that's kind of what we were looking at there. We we're trying to find something for hunting. The Dagon Mars rifle primers. Hopefully they'll be available before too long. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you in the next video.